Hey folks, it's Brian at Between the Oaks Farm again. Last time we talked we'd started getting into composting a little bit. We've had a lot of questions online about composting and they've run both ends of the spectrum. Uh, people who really want to get into composting to start building their own soil, uh, you know, truly self-sustaining soil building, to the other end of the scale, to uh, what's a fun, easy, lazy way to get it done and feed my plants. So uh, I guess we'll start with the hard work aspect first. Uh, scientists at University of California Berkeley a number of years ago developed a composting method called the Berkeley method and uh, they were able to get compost made from the raw material in uh, 18 days or less which if anybody's tried to break leaves down from last year's fall garden and do it that way 18 days is an amazingly quick turnaround time and there's just a little bit of science behind it that uh, it makes perfect sense when you think about it and it's not that hard to do it just takes a little bit of dedication with your pitchfork and turning the pile once it's ready. So building the pile, we build in layers. Uh, a layer of green, a layer of brown, and then a layer of manure input. We've already put the chicken poop down. And don't worry, we'll stay in chicken poop because we'll have our chickens here soon. So we've secured our own source of ammonium and nitrogen to build our piles. So what's the chicken manure? You can use anything, rabbit manure, horse manure, uh, but you build your compost pile in layers, pretty much equal layers of each item. So once the manure is on and your green layer is on, you finish it. You finish it with a brown layer. As you build each layer, or after each couple of layers, one of the most important parts to a compost pile that a lot of people seem to forget or never learned about was that any aerobic process needs oxygen. So staggering pipes through your compost pile to allow air to get into the microbes is just as important a part of the battle as adding water to your compost pile and not letting it dry out. Using this method, within three or four days, your pile should get up to over 120, upwards of 140 degrees. Once your piles reach that temperature, that's a sign that all the bacteria and bugs are in there beginning to break down and start fixing the nitrogen and carbon for you. And once your temperature reaches, or once your pile reaches its temperature, all that's left to do is turn it over from bottom to top to scoop the top off of your pile and lay it next to it and just move your pile, turn it upside down. And if you do that every three days or so, it's feasible to have your own homemade compost in, you know, 18 to 25, and on the low end, you know, 30 days. And truly self-sustaining compost building the good old-fashioned way. Thank you for your interest in composting, and uh, I guess we'll get into worm casting composting in a little bit. Uh, I'm Brian at Between the Oaks Farm. Visit us online at www.betweentheoaksfarm.com. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on Facebook or on the web. Have a good day.